Hello class, today Neka and I will be teaching you an easy way to make a 3D talking animation of yourself totally free. Of course, some of these apps you can only use them like one or two times for free and then after that you have to actually pay a subscription fee but I mean if you want to do some experiments or just do one or two animations of yourself then totally watch this video. Let's go. So to start, we have to create an anime character of yourself and we're going to be doing that using an app called Styler. If you only want to create few images for yourself, then you don't need to pay. The app would give you free credits, but if you want to use it long term, you obviously have to pay a subscription fee, especially if you animate very often, like if you own an animation channel or you basically make animation videos or want to make animation videos often. So to start, go to your web browser and type styler.ai. Uh, it's because the app is for PC computers, we're going to put it to desktop site so that we can be able to use it on our phone. Obviously, this would be your first time using it. So you have to sign in using a temp mail or your personal mail. Then go to new project. select your preferred aspect ratio now if you want to generate just any image and you already have a prompt you go to text to image but we want an image that looks just like us so we are going to go to image to image then upload the image we want to generate an animated character from Then click here and choose the style you want to generate an image from. I would prefer the Innocent Cutie because it looks cartoon like. It looks like a 3D cartoon image. Then click on this little tool here for auto prompt and it would give you a description of the picture you uploaded. And it describes the picture perfectly. It says a woman with a black shirt is smiling and making a face for the camera looking excited now if you're a person of color you have to put that into consideration so i put black so that it would generate someone of color because usually with ai apps they just generate someone who is light-skinned or white and when you're done click on stylize Now this takes a while but after that it will generate four different pictures, four different images for you to choose from. I didn't like the images it generated the first time so I added some changes to the prompt. <laughs> now some of the images were looking stupid and I did not like the facial expressions. It did not match my facial expressions in the picture I uploaded. So I kept on making changes until I got the type of picture I wanted. So when you're done, select your preferred images and click on place on canvas. Then go to export, choose your preferred layer and upscale it to two times. And export so these are the images it generated and obviously there is a watermark because we're using the free version but there is an easy way to get rid of it you can just simply crop the picture and that will be fixed now if you haven't subscribed at this point this is the right time to subscribe because in the next stage i'm going to teach you how to make the anime character we just generated to talk now we're going to use this app called hey Jin to make the animation talk go to your web browser type heijin h-e-y-g-e-n now click on get started then sign in using your temp mail or your google account whichever mail you have now because this app is for desktops and pc we are going to click on this three dots up here and then go click on desktop website and now you can use it on your phone Click on get started, fill in these questionnaires and continue. Now click on create video. Now click on the upload button 
and upload the image generated from Styler. Next is to add audio. You can add a text script and choose a voice to make the audio for you right in the app but i already have my own audio so i will just simply upload it you can also record your audio but i already have a recorded audio so i would upload mine and when the audio is done loading simply click on submit and it will generate the video for you when it's done generating click on the download button and it's done Hello class, today obviously there is a watermark and I'm going to teach you how to get rid of it so like this video now if you find it helpful. Now as you can see in the free version of the app there is a watermark and I have made several videos on how to remove watermark. At this point I feel like it's illegal. So there are three ways to fix this. You can simply just go to your video editing app then click on sticker then detail add the blur option. Then position it to where the logo is. Make it smaller because the logo is really small. Then increase the intensity of the blur effect. And now the logo is invisible. Another way we can fix this is by going to sticker. Then add your own personal logo or just the subscribe button. And make it the same size as the Heijin logo and place it on it. And now nobody sees it and the third and best way to fix this is by simply going to overlay and overlay the picture we got from styler extend the overlaid image to the end go to the masking tool and then choose this box squared masking tool here Make it as small as the logo and move it to the position of the logo. Then pull this little thing down to make the line invisible. And now there is no logo. It looks professional now. But if you have the money to pay for the app, please do because this is not how things should be. This, is, this should only be done if you're still a struggling content creator because it's not good to take advantage of people's works. I have a tutorial on how to remove people from your video. Uh, click here to watch that video and I will see you there. If you haven't subscribed at this point, what are you even doing? Seriously. Hmm? And give me a big thumbs up.